Hey, welcome to Haphazard Homestead. I'm glad you're here. I've been out in the woods, and I found something pretty cool. So I thought maybe you'd like to play another episode of the game I call... Will I eat this or not? Here's how the game goes. I'm going to show you some key features of these mushrooms. This will allow you to mull over the question. Will I eat this or not? Then I'll go through the steps and thought process I'm using to identify these mushrooms and decide Will I eat this or not? So let's take a look at these mushrooms up close and personal. All right, here I am. We're in a big forest. Lots of Douglas fir, alder, Sitka spruce, lots of ferns and moss. No particular place. Here I came walking down here. What do I see? Oh yeah, I see two of them. Do you see that one there? See that little spot of orange? Then look at this little spot of orange right there. We're just gonna see, take a look at that. So we know these mushrooms grow under the thick duff on the forest floor. Let's pick one. Holy smokes, this doesn't even look like a mushroom at all. It's just a bright red-orange crusty glob. Look at it. How would you describe that? Let's look at the second one. It's down under the duff too. All the old needles and sticks and moss that shows this is a healthy forest. This one looks sort of like a mushroom. It's got a top and an underside at least. And underneath it sort of looks like the underside of a mushroom cap. But it's all hard and crusty with little stipples or pimples or dots. I'm putting this in a paper sack in my day pack and taking it home to look at closer. Well, with these clues, what do you think? Will I eat this or not? I brought my mushrooms back. I put it in a paper sack, not plastic. Let's take a look at this now. What the heck is that even? Take a look. How in the world do we know what the heck that is? Look at that. How crazy is that? Look at that. Look at this one. It sure is a mess. Here's how we get rid of this mess, and I could have done this in the field. We just come in here with a toothbrush. We're going to make a mess. This is why it's good to do it out in the field. You can hear how crusty and tough this outside is. Look at that. It just looks like a lump. You can see here's where it was attached. Let's just take it. I'm going to cut it this way. Look at that, all white inside. Let's take a look at the other one. Here we are with our two side pieces. We can look at them to see if they change color. That's where it was attached. This is the top side. It has a cap. This is what was underneath. It seems so weird. Can you see that? Look at that. So let's go through our key. It's going to seem complicated, but in the end, it's going to turn out to be so simple. I'm going to start like I usually do with this book, All That the Rain Promises and More by David Aurora. It's a little pocket guide to Western mushrooms, but the thing that's good for anywhere is that it shows that mushrooms are fun, and it also shows a key on the inside front cover and the back front cover. That's great to get to know the different kinds of mushrooms. So to use this key, all we do is just come into our first choice. It says, does the mushroom have traditional gills radiating from the underside of a cap or not? Well, if it doesn't have gills, I don't see gills, then just go to the inside of the back cover. So we're starting up here. Does the mushroom have an underside layer of pores that are the mouth of tubes? Does it have tubes like this that hang down that make pores? Well, let's see. Does it have tubes? No, I don't see anything like tubes at all. There's no tubes at all. It's just a layer of stuff. So what do we do with our key? If there's tubes, we go down here. If it's not tubes with pores, then we go over here. And then it asks, 
Does the underside have teeth that are hanging down or something different? Well, those aren't teeth. So we go down here and then we have two choices. Is the cap like a brain or like a saddle or like a thimble? Does it have a honeycomb of pits and ridges? Well, could you say that this is brain-like? Maybe you think that's a brain. This one is not like a brain, not at all. So if the mushroom is shaped differently, it's not one of the morel. Then we go on to the next choices. Is the mushroom erect like a club, like an unbranched club? Or does it have a lot of branches like a coral in the ocean? Well, this one was in the ground like that. That's not a club and it's not like a coral in the ocean. So the answer has got to be no. So it's not a club and it's not like a coral either. So we go down here. We've got another choice. Does the mushroom have a spore case or a spore sack either with or without a stalk? That is, are the spores inside of the case of the mushroom? And if you take a look at this, no, the spores are not inside. The spores are actually on the outside. This is the spore surface. It, that's where all the complicated stuff is at. So it's not spore bearing inside. And so if it does not have a spore case, then we're gonna go over to this choice, to this box. And what does this box say? Does the mushroom have a cap and a stalk that's certainly not jelly-like? It grows on the ground. We saw it on the ground. And if the underside is wrinkled or veined, or if it's like a trumpet. Well, maybe you could say this one is wrinkled and it does have a cap, but it lacks a stalk. And this one doesn't match any of these characteristics. So what does it say? It says we're going to the other mushrooms. Now look, that's 11 pages of oddballs. Now everyone is so odd, we'll probably be able to find it. But take a look at what we had to do, how many choices we made. Were there pores on tubes? Were there teeth? Was it like a brain with uh, convolutions, like a honeycomb? Was it like the coral of an ocean or a club? Was it a ball that holds spores inside of it? Was it like a vase with not gills, but just some sort of veins of some sort? And here's where we end up. It's an oddball. Now look, that's 11 pages of oddballs. There are so many kinds of oddball mushrooms. There are cup fungus, there are little balls underground, there are the stink horns, ones that are sort of like jelly. There are the ones that look like ears. Not every book has all of the mushrooms in it, and this one certainly doesn't. This book only has 11, but I will say that this is one oddball that is gonna be in most mushroom books. But in the interest of keeping this video moving along, I'm gonna cut right to the chase. Let's go right through these other mushrooms. Most mushroom books will have it, but when you see it, it's unmistakable. How about that? The lobster mushroom, Hypomyces lactiflorum. It's bright orange to red. It's really an unmistakable color when you see this color. It's an incredibly odd mushroom. It's a mushroom that got parasitized by another fungus. This little rusula was coming up and the Hypomyces lactiflorum came in and surrounded it. On the outside, it makes like a crust. The gills of the host mushroom have been reduced to blunt ridges, or they may not be visible at all. And instead, the surface is covered with tiny little pimples. The flesh is white, and when it's fresh, the inside is crisp. This one was probably on Arusula. Look how bright white it is. So it's a lobster mushroom, a Hypomyces lactiflorum. What's it say about the edibility of the Hypomyces lactiflorum? Delicious when still crisp. A definite improvement over the short-stemmed russula that it usually parasitizes. So, will I eat this or not? Yes, yes I will. You bet I'm gonna eat this. It's still crisp, oh yeah, that's in good shape. I hope you're able to find some lobster mushrooms yourself sometime. And I hope you use a key to correctly identify them. They are an amazing part of nature, and they are delicious. Have you ever seen lobster mushrooms? Let me know in the comments below. If you like this sort of video, check out my first one in this series about a meadow mushroom. If you want to be notified when I post more about identifying and even eating wild mushrooms, be sure to subscribe and check the bell notification. I hope things are going well at your place. Feel free to share this video with your friends. Thanks for watching. Bye.